Emmett L. Brown, audio log. One of a series, recounting my very first visit to the year 2015. Uh, that is one version of 2015. The present time? Well, time has no meaning when you're a time traveler. October 26, 1985. Approximately 1.45 a.m. after Marty rejoined me at the mall, I loaded a plutonium pellet in the DeLorean, packed up my remaining cartridges, and, accompanied by Einstein, took Marty home. As Marty headed to his house, uh, I set the destination time to August 8, 2015, and headed into the future! Instantaneously, we arrived in the future! What marvels awaited? What wonders would we experience? I boldly drove into town, certain that no one in 2015 would be concerned about seeing a car that was 33 years old. But I was definitely not prepared for what we saw. This couldn't be 2015! The time machine must have malfunctioned! Or, or not. Clearly, nostalgia remained in full force. First prize goes to DeLorean Hot Rod owned by Mr. Emmett. A few judges were crazy about some of the modifications, but we were so excited just to see a real DeLorean. You get the grand prize, 10% off on the hover conversion at my shop, worth $3,995. Hover conversion? <gasps> Great Scott! Cars flew! This was indeed 2015! Uh, and it was a time for me to experience the real future! The courthouse was now a shopping center, and flying cameras called drones were ubiquitous! Commercials were on 3D video billboards, and just as obnoxious, and good manners had become a thing of the past! So on, uh, old man! Then, I saw it! Ha! A Mr. Fusion power converter! It would solve all of my electrical energy needs, but it wasn't cheap! and I still needed $36,000 for the hover conversion, uh, plus the exorbitant California sales tax. Of course, my credit cards were expired. Not that I had any credit. Luckily, I'd had the foresight to bring some silver dollars, family heirlooms that I assumed would only escalate in value, but not enough. Sorry, these aren't in the best condition. $56,300 is as high as I can go. My future depended on funding. And the most valuable thing I had was the secret of time travel. But uh, that wasn't for sale. I'd realized that back in 1962. But perhaps I owned or had access to some material goods that had escalated in value by 2015. I decided to find out. Hmm. Hmm. Clearly, I was looking in the wrong place. What do you mean? You never heard of the internet? Uh, I've been away. I figured it out quickly enough, and in moments, I was able to access the prices of gold, silver, diamonds, and rare metals. Great Scott! So that's the single greatest investment in the history of man? I still had plenty of plutonium. Next stop, April 18th, 1938! I left Iney to guard the vehicle, and I headed into town. That'll be one dollar, sir. Would you like a bag? Yes, please. And with that one silver dollar investment, I was fixed for life! I had money in the bank with no bank required! I'm telling you, I just made the deal of the century. The guy insisted on cash, so I got him down rock bottom. That's right, Harry. I bought a near mint action comics number one for only 2.5 mil. I'm gonna price it at three. That old man was clueless, no idea what he had. Some people are just dumb. 